Hey reefers, I'm Reefer Matt. This is my 45 gallon frag tank. Let's take a look. And here's the new frag tank. This is a 45 gallon tank. I believe it's a 90 gallon cut in half. I bought it used from a buddy and uh, he said it was custom made for him. This is the acro that I uh, accidentally fragged the whole colony yesterday. But uh, there was enough frags of it growing inside the uh, 75 gallon SPS tank so I just left it out. It was attacking my uh, solar fly acro. That's the back. And there's the front of it. All these uh, SPS corals came out of the 75 gallon SBS tank. So uh, hopefully I can find homes for them all. There's a bunch of that possible pour from that uh, colony that I fragged up. Some blue digi. And there's some green bird's nests back there. And I got a few little miscellaneous uh, frags up there. And on this side I have the new coral from my last video. Uh, these hammers are doing very well, as well as the rest of these. Uh, there's a branching Duncan, which I've never seen before in a branching version, so that's pretty cool. And there's a fox coral in the back. And there's some uh, candy cane frags in the back there. There's a cool Ganyapora just swaying around in the breeze. We got a few other ones around it. There's some uh, Galaxia. And some acans. Those acans are looking cool. As well as these favia. Look at those favia. Those are awesome. And a few other little miscellaneous. Got some uh, other candy cane or trumpet corals there. And some other miscellaneous frags. So this tank's doing pretty well. Uh, tomorrow I have frag racks coming in for it. So I'll do an update video once I get everything settled, but this thing will be frag racks from one, one side to the other. And they're pretty cool frag racks too, they're like show racks. Uh, even though nobody sees this really, but uh, you and I. Uh, let's see if I can show you my sump underneath. It's just a 20 gallon tall. And I got a little skimmer and a uh, filter sock in there with some uh, dry rock that's now live rock and that's basically the filtration for it so I don't have any sand in this tank at all which is a little more difficult to do you really got to be patient with it this tank's been cycled for three months now so I mean even then I'm still kind of leery about having all these coral in it but they seem to be doing fine so I just keep an eye on the alkalinity and the nitrates and all that and uh, keep everything in check I like to keep my alkalinity around 8 to 8.5 and my nitrates around 10. Uh, 20 is okay, but that's usually where I try to do a water change to get it below 20. And I got a cool new little fish here, a little Sergeant Major little fish that buddy uh, gave me. Maybe just like the one on the uh, 75 gallon. I got Sarge in the 75 gallon. Yeah. Everything's coming along pretty good in here. Just a lot of possible coral. I mean, I can't throw it out. It's coral. We'll see. I'll find homes for them. And the lighting, can't forget about the lighting. I got the Kessel A360X lights. And I have them on a separate uh, schedule for uh, light intensity. Right now they're turned up for the video. But on this side, on the SPS side, I keep the power higher and I keep it a little whiter light. Uh, usually around 120 is where I run this side as far as par. I mean, not super high, but that's where these coral like to be. 
And then on this side over here, I was running a little more of a bluer spectrum around 80 to 100 par. So uh, with these lights, you can have them connected to a controller or a dongle. I happen to have the controller on these. And you can separate them out in manual mode. And you can do separate uh, timers for them. So they can turn on and off whatever times you want and the spectrum and everything can be completely different even though they're uh, connected with the K-Link cable to the same controller. So I mean you can have them run the same if you want or you can separate them out which I thought was a really cool feature. Yep, I'm very happy with this tank. Makes a nice addition to the reef cave. I uh, just want to thank you for watching and happy reefing.